that off then? Yes, it is. Well, get off the walls. A good morning to you. Okay. <laughs> you're seven, you're, you're, it must be, what, six o'clock? Um, it's five past five. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, six hours ahead of uh, the East Coast here. Yes, well, um, I have to say, um, thank you for making the time. Sure, absolutely. And uh, it's a, yeah, a great pleasure. I'm a, um, a keen fan um, of your label and I think of, uh, well, certainly of many of the artists that, uh, that you've signed over the years. Thank you very much. And in a way, I was just... Uh, I, I, I always like to hear that. <laughs> I was just thinking that it's, it's not often that you get interviewed. It's, it's normally your artists that, uh, that enjoy the privilege. Like the artists to promote the label, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, we of course we promote our artists, but we don't spend very much money on advertising our company. Yes. We hope that our artists and writers do the talk for us. Which, for the most part, has been true. Yes. I mean, we've had our ups and downs over 21 years. Mm. But uh, we're still uh, a force to be reckoned with and uh, going strong. Are, are you surprised at, um, well not surprised, but I think um, obviously in 21 years you've experienced a lot of, a lot of changes in an industry that is fraught with, uh, you know, with, with change and, uh, you know, for, from all corners, but um, are you, are you happy at the place, you know, that the label is in today? Well, I, I think I, I would be forced to, to not be happy, I mean, the landscape is littered yeah. with, you know, independents that have come and gone. Mm. Uh, there are very few independents that are multinational yes. that still exist today. You know, the industry goes through its cycle, consolidation, bankruptcy. The independent community, while very small, suffer through all those cycles. Yes. Uh, and, uh, there's only a handful of uh, like cooperating independent operators who still be still functioning after uh, two decades. Yes. So, uh, you know, I can, I can play in all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, never, I'm never really happy. You know, I always think we should be selling more records. That we just can't do because uh, because of the uh, financial uh, burdens that mm. uh, I think every independent is confronted with yeah. in the marketplace. I think that is uh, the challenge for us today. Yes. Is, uh, is finding ways to uh, uh, not be a lending mm. and uh, be, be, be able to uh, uh, find, find ways to, to promote our records and our artists that uh, makes us so unique and uh, you know, we're actually following the pack. Yes. have a copy of, which is phenomenal. Uh, the company was that uh, we actually got together in 83, but our first releases were, to work, were not uh, in the industry until 1985. Yes. So, so 1984. <laughs> 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 the, the benchmark in terms of the 20-year anniversary for the whole side of the end of a couple of decades. Sure, so, sure. So, and in some ways, it, it must seem that it wasn't that long ago either. Exactly. actually in a way. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
that's okay then if you're the boss, because if, if you weren't, then there'd be bigger questions, wouldn't there? <laughs> actually go through uh, sheer, sheer music here in South Africa in different ways, so now they'll all come through you. Exactly. That's fantastic. Uh, I know. Uh, I've known Steve Cross, who's the Right. Uh, beat ups, uh, the deal with rap and artists. But 
I, I think I've been to South Africa, Sinai, mm -hmm. and uh, the last Emperor. Yeah. And uh, just signed uh, Ali Shaheed Muhammad. Okay. He was a member of the uh, Tribe Called Quest. Yes, yes. So we're about to sign Jay Live. Nice. And, uh, the participate in some roots record.
balance uh, upside. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, of course, you know, there's always anomalies to that. Like sure. Bowie and all these Costello and Frank Zappa and mm. the whole list of accounts that lost you know, records that sold substantially more than that. Yeah. But uh, that's the essence of our business. And uh, when you're in that, that, that's the hardest side of the business. You need to control the message that retail gets about your record. Correct. Because that's normally where it goes wrong. Exactly. Connecting with the consumer, how do you connect with the consumer? And the fundamental thing you need to do is make sure there's records in the store. Sure, sure. <laughs> so we got into the distribution business to control that message. And uh, that's, that, that we've grown as a distributor. Uh, we've got uh, that normal word that I referred to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, given by, by the retail company. We have incredibly knowledgeable sales organization. We took music people and taught them how to sell records as opposed to mm. sales people and how to sell records. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. a really different approach. And it's worked very well for us. And today our industry, US distribution company has great strengths both with the music and with the Brilliant. Uh, we're, we're both the music and uh, audio visual company today. Brilliant. Uh, not only the distribution level, but the, uh, if you would ask me what, what, what way we're expanding, not only would I include the ever-changing landscape of repertoire, yes. <laughs> but also the uh, fact that we're, we have to be able to Okay. So what, so what would you say is your biggest challenge, though, um, for you personally, moving forward? Um, well, the biggest challenge for me is making sure that the company stays focused on the right type of music. Mm. I, mean, that, uh, I, I want this company to mean something, to stand for something in the musical community. Mm. Mm. I always characterize RICO, the RICO group of companies as a musical organization. Not that you know, they say we're a record company or a music publisher. So yes. We're a vertically integrated music organization. Yes. <clears throat> run by people who love music. Exactly. Oh, look, could I ask you to hold on one second for me? Sorry. Sure. Thanks. Sorry, I'm just running back to back with two uh, interviews just on the back of yours. Not a problem. appreciate it and uh, I don't think I can say it enough. I try to give you enough sound bites. I've got loads, yeah, I know, as I say, I, 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 had, I had 20 questions, I think you answered uh, most of them in uh, in one go, so, um, but thank you again for making the time and, and all the very, very best, uh, you know, with us, and uh, thank you. We, we, we look. Make sure, I'd love to see your paper. Yes, I will, I'll, I'll get it through to, to Rob and um, I'll make sure that he gets a copy of it to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.